Cops are entrusted with upholding justice, but what happens when their actions lead to repercussions? Here are four times when cops get served instant karma. I do apologize right. that he did stop and abruptly. I'm, I'm tell you Nobody was wrong. I'm tell you the disconnect, right? So between the public and you as a public you servant. You just said driver check, okay. If, if there's something wrong and you actually yeah. did it, all you say, my bad. I'm and sorry. I did. I just and said. Keep going. I said my bad. I said I activated a traffic, I initiated a traffic stop in a marked vehicle with lights and sirens. Right. If you didn't hear the sirens or see the lights, I don't, I... I mean, you called back up to your Well, I called back up because somebody is getting out of a cop car. This is Sergeant Wolf from the Cleveland Heights Police Department. On September 22nd, 2022, an individual named Demetrius Kern was driving his car on Mayfield Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Officer Carly Lewis asked Mr. Kern to pull over, initiating a traffic stop. Officer Lewis made the stop by slamming the brakes of the car in front of Mr. Kern's car, which almost led to an accident that may have included three vehicles. Watch how the interaction unfolds as Officer Lewis knows she made an error. One second! Stand by. It's going to be uh, on Mayfield across from the access, first access road. Put me another unit because another party does not know how to yield to uh, lights and sirens, and he's sitting here reporting me. Stay there, I'm looking at him off the road. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm Officer Lewis with Cleveland Heights. The reason I'm for the traffic stop is the plates on the vehicle are expired. Yeah, not even I a big deal. Do you know yeah. that guy behind me no, in the Porsche? I was trying to hurry up and move you're over. You're good. No, you're good. You did the right thing. I am put my lights out and sirens. He did not move over. And I'll give you the plate to the other vehicle that's out with the confrontation. I apologize. You almost ran me off the road. I initiated my lights and sirens. I didn't hear anything. What, you was your music on? Because I had the oh, lights and sirens man. on, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I apologize. He stopped abruptly. Okay, I'm not wrong. The lights and sirens were activated. I, you okay, the road I did not do that, sir. The lights and sirens on my mark the show because he stopped right. abruptly, causing me to stop and abruptly, caused causing you to stop abruptly. Right. And I apologize for that. However, the lights and sirens were on. Okay, the police vehicle is marked. You can clearly see it's a marked patrol vehicle. I initiated lights and sirens. I'm not going to argue, and I'm telling you I do. I'm going to tell you I do apologize right. that he did stop abruptly. Nobody was wrong. I'm going to tell you the right? So between the public and you as a public you servant, you just said driver check, okay? If, if there's something wrong and you actually yeah. did it, all you say, my bad. I'm and sorry. I did. I just and said, keep going. I said, said my bad. I said I activated a traffic. I initiated a traffic stop in a marked vehicle with lights and sirens. Right. If you didn't hear the sirens or see the lights, I don't. I. I mean, you called back up. Well, I called back up because somebody is getting out of a cop car. Officer Lewis claims that she had her cop cruiser's sirens on. However, Mr. Kern informs that he could not hear it and did not stop initially. According to the law, upon such a signal made by the cops, the citizen must stop their vehicle by the side of the road if it is safe to do so. This gave Officer Lewis the probable cause to detain or conduct a traffic stop on Mr. Kern as he failed to stop. Observe what happens next. Call back up for your safety, but well, you don't pull up behind an officer on a traffic stop. You're not even, you don't even know what's going on. You're right, I don't. So why are you saying that? Because I'm here, and what you're doing right now is against the law. Ran me off the road. Okay, well then you should have pulled over for lights and sirens. You said it on the radio that you that you didn't yield, right. and it's on dash cam. I'm assuming. Just just a disconnect, man. I'll tell you what, let her finish her business and then we can sit down and talk like We're adults. We're good, I'm going to let him go. We're good, I'm going to let him go. Yeah. What, I'm sorry, what was your last name? My last name? Yeah. Why do you need my last name? Because I'm asking who I'm talking to. You asked me who you were talking to. You're not, well, not now we're going to be under arrest because what you're doing is you're going to be arrest. Listen. If you're doing something illegal, I can charge you for interfering with Just give me your last name. Why? Because I'm conducting business with you right now. Where my friend you want to be. What's your RS? My RS? Okay. First, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll explain it to you, okay? Doing what you're doing right now? No, sir. She almost ran me off the road. Okay. Again, you didn't yield to lights and siren. You she came out. She was and next to me and stopped and almost ran me off the road. Okay, okay listen to me. You asked my, my reasonable, articulable suspicion. It's I'm, not a probable cause. Arrest. If you arrest me, you violate my rights. I don't want to arrest you. We have to you're ID you. You violate my rights. That's what you're going to okay, do? We have to ID you. You understand that? Yes, we do. All right, I'm going to videotape it. Okay, we got you on camera, too. I'm going to call. come get the car. You're violating my rights. Come getting, who's getting what car? They can come. You're going to you're going to radio another right? car here. I got a male who's obstructing. No, I'm not. And, uh, he, he's refusing to identify himself. 
So I'll take a report on it, but I need your no. ID. Yeah. I'm dealing with her. Talk to me. Don't, just do me a favor. All I'm asking you. I'm a private citizen. Just take your hands out of your pocket while we're talking. Right. Okay. So, okay. I called for backup. All right. Yeah. I initiated a traffic stop. Yeah. I understand you and I and that gentleman. We all just saw what happened. Okay. Right. I'm calling for another person because I'm dealing with one person who I don't know who I'm dealing with. I'm and you get out. Listen, sir. Let me speak. Um, right. Let me explain to you. I call for another person because I have a man getting out of a car walking towards me. You know how society is. Okay. I know how society Open is. Now listen. Right. I'm asking you to identify yourself so I can let my dispatcher know who I'm out with. If you don't identify yourself, that is obstruction. You are the one that cannot. Obstruction is a secondary crime. Obst what crime obst did I commit? There's no crime, but I'm want so to. No crime, I'm identifying to you. Okay. Thank you. I need your driver license. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to arrest you if you don't identify yourself. It, she just said it was no crime. It Listen. Is a crime. Obstructing is a what? crime. Obstructing you is a crime. Identify yourself. Guys. She almost ran me off the road. And then, then, well, then I still have to identify. You. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call into your car. You can arrest me. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Because I didn't do anything. Okay, turn around. Turn around. I didn't do anything. Listen. Just all I you have to do. I don't have my ID with me. Okay. Hey, what's your cell phone? Hey, That's all we asked for. For what? Because I need to let my dispatcher know. It's not a big deal. What's your last name, sir? You? Kern, man. Kern? You know what happened. Why are you letting me do this? He's a sergeant. He's violating right. my rights. He is not. He didn't have a identify you yourself. When you, sent you, on your way. you have valid driver's license? Yeah, I do. You violate my rights, man. Yeah, were you going to get a ticket for interfering with the traffic? How did I interfere? Stop. She almost ran me off the and you could have pulled off and waited and called and called. I did wait when she said wait. You were out here talking to her. Have a seat. Mr. Kern, just yeah, push me, man. Have a seat. Why are you so full of machismo, man? Dude, have a seat. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not putting up with your okay? Have a seat. What's wrong with you, man? Have a seat. I'm sitting down. All the way in. Is he he's going for a Or he's getting a You're going to, I don't. Is he valid? After Mr. Kern refuses to identify himself, Sergeant Wolf handcuffs him and places him under arrest for obstruction. He is immediately asked to sit in the cop cruiser. The refusal of identification might be a lawful act by Mr. Kern as it is protected by the Fifth Amendment. For those who don't know, the Fifth Amendment protects individuals from being compelled to incriminate themselves, which includes the right to remain silent and not provide identifying information to law enforcement. Watch how the encounter ends. I don't know, I'm waiting for the radio to say. What, so this is what happened. Uh -huh. That vehicle matched a description of the vehicle from Weird Shit yesterday. Okay. I saw it. I initiated a traffic stop. Sure. That person, instead of like pulling over, he stopped abruptly. Okay. And I'm getting behind him, but he stopped abruptly. Okay. This guy was very close to him. Okay. And we did. We almost called, We almost did get into an accident okay. because that driver stopped so abruptly. Like I did, yes. Gets a ticket for, for, for He... Oh, it sounds about this. Uh, okay. He's getting a ticket for... for, for radio, you want to see me? Bring back on that DSI. Yes, radio, I do. That's why I provided it. It goes to a Demetrius Raphael Kern. It's a 37-year-old male. He's valid. That's one. Okay. So you get the, the ticket and then you can come to the Listen, I don't feel I need to give him a ticket for that. It's... Okay. I'm well, cool with just, for Okay, I mean, I'm cool with letting him go. Like he, he just can't. I didn't he's understand. In, he's in handcuffs. And he's being he a jerk. He's, he obstructed. He refused to identify himself. I'm not going to sit out here okay. and argue with somebody for an hour. The legalities of it. You can come to court. Okay. So he gets a ticket for obstructing failure to identify himself. You guys got a lawsuit coming. Mr. Kern, just ha hang on. Just you got coming. a lawsuit coming. Listen, let me explain to you. Mm -hmm. you don't get out of the car yet. The sergeant wants me to give you a ticket for obstruction, okay? I'm not going to do anything else. I, listen, it's the, he's the boss. This is, he is the boss. I don't have to refuse if I didn't commit a crime. This isn't a stop in ID state. At this point, it is a traffic stop because you're out on a traffic stop. the road. Mr. Kern, we just had that conversation. I did not almost run you off the road. That, that Tesla has cameras in it. So okay. You guys are going to pay for this. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right, here's your property. Hold on, let me get this here. Sure. Mm. It was pushing on my coast, I didn't even know. Thank you, Russ. Yes, sir. Um, do you want to sign or are you going to refuse? All right, I'm going to give you a copy of it. You guys violated my rights. You know well, we'll ha all be in court. Officer Lewis issues Mr. Kern with a citation for obstruction. He was released after several minutes from handcuffs 
and was free to leave the scene. A few hours later, Mr. Kern filed a complaint against Sergeant Wolf that led him to reattend a de-escalation training session. The charges on Mr. Kern were dropped after several days of the stop. If you think this was the only cop who got served instant karma, wait until you watch this next case. Did I do anything? Yes. What Turn around and put your hands behind your back. What did I do? Do you want to get tased? Do, excuse me? Turn around and put For your hands. For what? Do you know I work here? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Do you know I work here? This is my bike. Okay. So what did I do for you to approach me and then tell me that put my hands behind my back? Sir. What are you arresting me for? I'm not arresting you. Right now you're not co uh, cooperating with for me. For what? And you're getting agitated. You asked for, no, you asked me for my ID. Right. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay. Unless I've done something. This is Officer Chris Lors from the Clarkson Police Department. On June 24th, 2019, a 52-year-old individual named Mark Domino rode his motorcycle to work. Both Mr. Mark Domino and his wife are employed at the same department store, and typically his wife drives the car they own to work. Both vehicles were parked in the parking lot. Mr. Domino went past his car to check on it and looked inside. A nearby driver named Miss Brunel observed this and deemed it suspicious, prompting her to call the police. Witness what unfolds when Officer Lors confronts Mr. Domino. Happy. How's it going, man? Officer Lores, Clarkson Police Department. Let me put your phone down for a second. What do you got in your pocket there? Is that just something hanging off your backpack? What is that, a hanger? Yeah. What are you doing with that? Is this your bike? Yes. It's your bike? You got ID on you? Why do you need my ID? Because somebody saw you looking at cars, so I'm here just checking to see what's going on. You got ID on you? Yeah, I do, but did okay, I do I'll anything? Yeah, I'm figuring that out right now. I'll take a look at your ID, though. You don't need my ID unless I did something. Okay. Unless you're taking me in for something like Turn around and put your hands behind your back for right what? now. For now. What? For what? Turn around what? and put your hands behind your back. For now. For what? Before we get started, 108, pick it up. You're gonna emails. You're gonna obey me or you're Why gonna go I on the to ground. Obey you? Because I'm giving you a lawful order. For what? Turn around and put did your I hands behind anything? your back. Did I do anything? Yes. Turn what around and put your hands behind your back. What did I do? Do you want to get tased? Do, excuse me? Turn around and put for your hands. For what? Do you know I work here? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Do you know I work here? This is my bike. Okay. So what did I do for you to approach me and then tell me that put my hands behind my back? Sir. What are you arresting me for? I'm not arresting you. Right now you're not co uh, cooperating with for me. For what? And you're getting agitated. You asked for, no, you asked me for my ID. Right. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay. Unless yeah. I've done something. What have I done? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. For what? Are you arresting me? And for I'm, what purpose? I'm detaining you. Detaining me for what? Why are you detaining you're not, me? You're not even listening. What did I do for you to detain me? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Was there a report that I stole something? Yes. There was a report that I stole something. Turn around. You just said, hold on. Stop, Dick. Stop. I stop. can get my phone out. Stop. Wait stop. a minute. Why are you putting stop. your hands on me? Stop. Why are you putting your hands on me? Hey, stop. Hey, stop. No, no, no. Stop. You're back with What? You're going to get paid. Stop. Your hands on me? Stop. Why are you putting your hands on me? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You are Stop. attacking me. Stop resisting. You got to call some vehicle prowling. You match the description. Stop oh, resisting. Oh, black guy vehicle prowling? You need really? to chill out. Stop. A black guy vehicle? Stop. Why are you trying to take me down? Why are you fighting? Stop. Because you are trying to force Stop. me. Stop. Take me down Dude, for no Stop. reason. You're pushing me. Stop. Pushing what? Stop. Stop. I know my rights. Okay. Stop. Stop. I know my Stop rights. Stop talking and stop fighting or we will use force. You're Stop. using force now. Stop. We haven't even started. Oh, and I have you. Yes, John. Stop. Record this. Stop. Additional units. Why are you detaining me? Put your hands behind I your back. Why are you detaining you me? Match the description of a vehicle prowl suspect. At this time, you're being uh, detained. Detained for what? What did he do? What did I do? Stop. I just told you. What did he do? Stop. I didn't you're do anything. You're a vehicle prowl suspect. Stop. I'm not a vehicle. Stop resisting. Okay. Okay. You're under arrest for obstruction. Obstruction for what? Clerks want to wait. Also, if you could have somebody contact RP and see if she's still on scene. Copy. You got a wallet on you? Yep. You got ID? Yep. Where's it at? It's in my wallet. Where's your wallet at? It's in my pocket. Which pocket? 
and you let you take it out. Right now you're under arrest for obstruction, obstruction and resisting what? arrest. Uh, what arrest for what? Arresting we're, me for we're what? We're not going to argue right now. Do arresting me for what is the problem? Let's get him out of here. Officer Lores approaches Mr. Domino and informs him that he was allegedly spotted looking inside cars and accused of theft. Mr. Domino denies these accusations of burglary. Despite Mr. Domino's denial, he is arrested for refusing to identify himself. Rather than addressing the alleged accusation made in the call, Officer Lores shifts his focus to Mr. Domino's refusal to provide identification. Let's see how this interaction unfolds. Yeah, what 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 you arresting me for? Stand up, man. That's you first. Obstructing justice. Obstructing what? Huh? Obstructing what? Getting on my own bike? Getting on my own motorcycle? Everything's being audio and video recorded. That's good. It'll be good for the lawsuit. All right, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Get this off of here. He's off the bike. Secure. Put him in your car and transport. That way I can get everything else done here. Hi. Are you Jody? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID with you? Uh, I do. I'm over here. Okay. I'm Is, mom. Okay. Is that the male that you yeah. saw? Okay. Can you get me video? Male that came to this bike, everything that he did. He's an employee. We've got uh, a witness that saw him going into cars and we just fought and tased him so okay, right there. I, that bike male come to it where did he walk which the cars car that he got into was clear on the other end okay so walked. you saw one male walking from all the way over there clear over to here and it's that's I, the male that we talked to yeah i watched him okay. he got into three doors of that car and then he just walked okay. away and came clear over here so okay. i thought well that's not right okay but okay. the woman came Can over you and you start looking at that for me. Yeah. The woman you. came over and was okay. kind of pissed, saying it was this car registered. But you, you say it's your car. 19's on scene with the RP. Four showed up. Not one of you I know. I'm Brad Peters' mom. Okay, I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Just so you know, everything's being recorded. Oh, okay. So, so what did he say when you... How many, he wouldn't say anything to me. How many cars did he look at? Just the one. But Just he, the one. So like, one car, far. Like my pickup would be A gray parked. Chevy Aveo is registered to him. The same as the bike. Okay. He could have... Yeah, why didn't he say that? Clarkson 119, run and attach one. One nineteen, run and attach one. So you saw him get into one car and then walk across yeah, the parking lot. Yeah, so say like my pickup was right, right here. That car would have been right there facing me. So I put my cart away, and when he walked down this way, he walked to the passenger side, got in that door, came around this way, got in the driver's okay. door, then got in the back. And there was a car right next to him, so he's holding his keys, but he never used a key on anything. It was all unlocked. And then I couldn't tell if he grabbed anything. Okay. Yeah. But then he just walked away down this aisle and then just headed straight over here. Okay. So, yeah, that looks like a prowl. Right. Okay, let me get you a written statement form if you could fill that out for me. I'd appreciate it. He just wouldn't talk to No, and then he started, like, he, he just 
super agitated, super, I, I don't have to tell you my name. I'm like, listen, man, you know, so right now you're being detained, you know, and he got all jacked up. And so I'm like, okay, turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm going to detain you. No, 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 no. And then once Rabbit got here, he reached into his pocket real fast and we went hands on at that point and sort of danced around with him because he's a big dude like this yeah. for a while. And then finally he wrapped his arm around me and I had my taser out already and I tased him and we took him down and finally got him cuffed, but we fought with him the whole time. Wow. So, all he had to do was talk. Yeah, if he would have said, that's my car, it could have been done in two seconds. Yeah. Okay. You can just fill this out and drop it off at TV. Okay. Or have Brad drop it off with for us, whatever works for you. Okay. Um, as soon as, as, soon as you can. I'm not sure yet. So what did he say when... He wouldn't say anything. I, I don't know anything. So, still get everything figured out. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Officer Lors narrates an entirely different incident to the other officer than what had happened. Mr. Domino was charged with resisting arrest and obstruction. He was released a few hours after this encounter. Mr. Domino later filed a $5 million tort claim against the city of Clarkston. This incident also led to the initiation of an internal investigation, of which the proceedings are unknown. If you think this was the maximum a cop can get karma, then probably you aren't aware of this next case. Why are you here so late? It does not matter. It does matter. To who? To me. Why? Because the store's never open this is, late. Is this your store? No. And then what? If it's not your store, what's the problem? I'm making sure that everyone is okay there's down no here. There's no problem going on. So if you have a problem, you let me know right now if there's a problem. This is Sergeant Michael Blaze from the Tiburon Police Department. On August 21st, 2020, in the early hours of the morning, business owner Yema Khalif was present at an outlet of its clothing store in downtown Tiburon, California. Officer Blasey and other accompanying officers approached Mr. Khalif to inquire if there was anything wrong after having patrolled around the area thrice. Watch how the encounter escalated between them. Hey guys. You guys, I've never seen you open this late. Yeah. Are you just restocking? No, we're just doing our thing. What's just up? doing your thing? What's yeah. your thing? What's up? Well, I just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. Is that late. a problem? Okay, baby. No, 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 just chill, just oh. chill. Is that a problem? No, sir, there's no problem. I'm just... I've never seen anyone in the store this late. I wanted to come check in, make sure There's everything's no okay. There's no problem going on. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys restocking the store? There's, or? there's no problem going on. Why are you here so late? It does not matter. It does matter. The officers explained that they suspected an unusual activity since all of the stores in the locality were closed then. Watch how the encounter ends. To who? To me. Why? Because the store's never open this is, late. Is this your store? No. And then what? If it's not your store, what's the problem? I'm making sure that everyone is okay there's down no here. There's no problem going on. So if you have a problem, you let me know right now if there's a problem. I just want to know why you guys are here so late. It does not matter. It does matter to me. It does not matter to me. It so does. if you have a problem, you tell me right now if you have a problem. I don't have a problem, sir. Mm -hmm. I just want to know why you guys are here so late. It does not matter. That's it, what I'm telling it you. It does to me. Can you take a hand in your pocket, please? It does not Thank matter you. to me. Okay. Why are you guys here so late? It does not matter to me. I don't care, sir. If you have a problem, call you call your chief of police, call whoever you want to call. My supervisor is already on his way. Yeah, call him. Tell him to come talk He's to me. He's coming. Or one of you own the store? Huh? Do one of you own the store? It does not matter. I'm not going to answer your question. If you have a problem, you tell me you have a problem. I have a problem with you guys being here so late and you not tell me why. Is it your store? No. So you call your supervisor, tell him to come here. He's already on his way. Okay, so when he's here, Knock the door, tell me he's here. Is that okay? Okay. Can you just tell me why you guys are here? It does not matter. Go? Call your supervisor, tell him to come here, and then... Um, do one of you two own the store? No, have any reason do to not talk here? to anybody else. Talk to me. You're talking to me right now. No, I'm talking to all three you're of you. Not, all you're three talking you to me, store. sir. Okay? You're talking to me. Call your supervisor, let him come here. He's already on his way. Okay, so when he's here, let you let me know. No, why don't you come out here for me? Supervisor, how are you doing? That's right, how are you? You sir? came, three of you guys. What's, go, what's going on? What's the problem? There's three black people in the store. What's the problem it's, with that? So it's one o'clock in the morning. There's three people in the store. There's they three want black people in the here. store. Three o'clock in the morning. No, what's the problem? There's three people. There's in three the black store. people in the store. It's three o'clock in the morning. What's the problem? It's one o'clock in the morning, and yes. we never have any activity at the store at that time. Okay. 
Is this your store? So what's the problem with having three black people in the store? It, you keep emphasizing black people. That's not yes, you, see, yeah, you can actually tell me you don't see that. You see that three black people in the store. What's the problem with that? I see three people in the I store see at people 1 o'clock in, in the morning. I see 1 o'clock in the morning. This okay. street's closed up at 9 o'clock at night. There's okay. nobody here. Okay, so what's the problem? That's the problem. Okay. This street closes at 9 o'clock at night and okay. there's never anybody in here. Okay. This isn't regular business hours. There's okay. no customers in there. Okay. Is it your store? That's all we want to know. Who, who, like, do you want to know why? I want to know what you're doing in the store at 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. If I tell you it's my store, then what? Then show me that it's your store. I do not have to show you nothing. If I tell you it's my store, then what? We're just I do not have to prove anything to you. Is this if your I store? tell you if it's my store, then what? Aren't you glad we're looking out for your store? I am glad you're looking out for my store. But if okay. I tell you it's my store, then what? Then you should be grateful that we're being as, as diligent as we are to look out for the street. That's all we do. Okay, it's my store. Okay. Okay. Did you identify yourself? I do not have to store? identify myself to anybody. It's my store. It's a, okay, then what? Did anybody call Yeah, exactly. So it's my it's my store. So so what? Can you prove that it's your I store? I do not have to prove anything to Actually, you, Actually, you do. Sir. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. To who and to why? Oh, my God. I do not have yes, to prove my existence have to, prove to you. you. who you are. I do not have to, have to prove my existence to you. You are in a you. store yes. after hours when yes. the stores are closed okay. on this street all night. Okay. This store, that last store, this last store that closes is Sam's Anchor Cafe right over there. Okay. And it closes at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. There's three people in the store in the middle okay. of the... Excuse me, I'll put this on now. Okay. okay. There's three people in the store in the middle of the night. We okay. are doing what we're supposed to do. We're looking out for our community. Okay. That's all we're doing. Okay. That's it. You're looking out for my community. That's yes. That's what you mean to say. If, you're, if this is your store, you're part no, of No, no, no. If this is my store, I've already told you it's my store. Don't use the word if. Okay. I've told you it's my store. Okay. Then okay. we're looking out so for your community. Okay. Do All you right. want us to look out for your community, I do or want do you want you us to, to let anybody just walk in here at 2 o'clock in the morning and steal all your I stuff? Wa I want you to look out for my community. You sure? Because yeah, you sure. don't sound like you're very grateful. No, no, you no, no, sound no. like you're very defensive. No, no, no. I'm, I do not sound this defensive. Really? Hey, hey. Come on now. Calm, calm you're down. You're being very defensive. No, 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 no. Calm down. My officer is calm doing down. his job. Your officer is not doing his job. Yes, your he is. Yeah, he, listen. Yes, he is. Listen. He is doing his job. Hey. He is not, following the policy of the chief of police at Tiburon PD and keeping mm -hmm. his eye on Main Street, which is our jurisdiction. Yes, and I'm telling you, okay. you're telling me what you're telling me. Yes. And I'm telling you, I do not have to prove my existence to you. I do not it's have not to your existence. Yes, you're, you're, you're in a location that you're you not. You're in a location that we have never you seen said you your before. Piece. You said your piece. It doesn't matter where I'm at before. I do not have to prove to you that where I go, that I right here. Where are you getting this information that you don't have to prove that you listen, are? Listen, you're not listening to me. Because you're not be making sense. Just because I am making no, sense. No, you're not making sense. Because you have not never seen me here before, I do not have to prove to you that I have to be here. That's what I'm saying. Let me ask you a question. Yes, ask This me. is your store. Yes. So the next time yes. I come here and there's yes. three totally different people here. Yes. I don't care what color they are. Okay. Three people in your store at two o'clock in the morning. You want us to walk by and not do anything? Because we you, can. You've seen me. We can do that. You've seen me. But it could be three of your employees. So, you've seen me, right? If you have an alarm system, if the alarm goes off, obviously you'll come and you'll, you'll do that. And I think, like, if the police officer knocks and asks, hey, are you guys the owners and are you guys just here, then I think that's one way of going about it. If that's not what really happened, then I think we're just wasting really Man, that's exactly what I did. I knocked and asked so if you guys were owner yeah, or did, restocking. Yeah, but the I didn't know you had an alarm system, sir. I just got here. Sir, we're supposed to look out for this neighborhood. There's That's a sign here that says Red Room Security. Those are a dime a dozen, and half of those aren't even exist. Half of those don't have active alarms with them. Okay. All right. So I, I want to wrap up this conversation. We're wasting time. So what's going on? What, what's up? What's the next step? Prove to us just, that you have keys. How's or my store? Okay, okay, wait, wait. See, that's a perfect okay. thing. I just asked for I don't have, Okay, okay. You know what? Put wait. the key in the door and we're out of here. Yeah. Put the key in the door? Put the key in the door. I if asked you, if this is your store, you have the key. Not even I'm telling you. There you go. Stand back, please. There you do go. not raise your voice at me. Okay? Put the key in the door. Don't raise your voice at me. Just chill. I'm going to put my key in the door. That's his store. What's that? That's his store. Thank you, sir. That's all I need to know. Thank you. See ya. Mr. Khalif proves that he is the owner of the store and there is nothing wrong happening there. The officers leave the scene after taking the word from a pedestrian without any further questioning or interrogation. This encounter was also recorded by a friend of Mr. Khalif inside the store 
claiming it to be a case of racial profile. The recording went viral on social media and led to the resignation of Sergeant Blazy and the chief of Tiburon police, Michael Cronin. If you think this was the last cop who got served instant karma, then probably you aren't aware of this next case. Are you a chief or something? I'm the police chief. Yes, I am. All right. Good job. Well, you're just an elected to this We're team. not here to debate who I am, what I'm doing. I told you who I am. I told you I was the Shirley Police Department when I arrived. Okay. Oh, yeah. And were you were you called or? No. Or you just come up on your own? To, it doesn't matter. To, you've been here. I told you I've been here all day. You've been here all day. You have. Okay. Don't turn my words around. Well, we're not going to play we've that all, game. We've all been here, I mean, for a right while. Right now, is, uh, we're asking you to leave our a, town completely. We? Who's we? This is Officer Al Gabe from the Turtle Lake Police Department. Officer Gabe is the Chief of Police of the Turtle Lake Police Department. On August 25th, 2022, an individual named Travis Heinze, who is a YouTuber and an urban adventurer, was resting in his parked car somewhere in a parking lot in Turtle Lake, Wisconsin. Watch what happens when Chief Gabe confronts Mr. Heinze. I'm here today. You've been here all day. I, I have? Yeah. Okay, what's the problem? Um, this is uh, not for people just to be just hanging out here sleeping in their vehicles. Oh, You've been here all day. You've been here ever since I came to work this morning, so mm -hmm. you got some ID? Let's see your ID. Right here, it's right on my chest. What brings you to Turtle Lake from Washington? See, that's my hand. A little rainy out here, huh? A little bit. Took a while to turn on, huh? All right, here, I guess we'll get out. No, you don't need to get out, but you got some ID? It's uncomfortable sitting like this, so... Well, you're in here sleeping like that. Laying down. What's the, what's the law about... You can't loiter in our town. In the, okay, is that what ordinance you have uh, parked in? That's our village ordinance. You can't loiter in our town. Okay. Chief Gabe informs Mr. Heinze that he's allegedly loitering in the town, and his stay is unlawful. Watch what the chief is about to tell Mr. Heinze. Excuse Bottom me. line, just get in your car and get out of the turtle. Lake. Come oh. on back. Yeah, I mean, I'll be making my way out, but... No, no. I'm not, no. We're done. We're, we're done here. If you don't want to cooperate, well, just get in your car and leave. Are you a chief or something? I'm the police chief. Yes, I am. All right, good job. Well, you're just an elected to this We're team. not here to debate who I am, what I'm doing. I told you who I am. I told you I was the Turley Police Department when I arrived. Okay. Oh, yeah, and were you, were you called, or...? No. Or you just come up on your own? To it doesn't matter. To, You've to been here. I time. told you I've been here all day. You've been here all day. You have. Okay. Don't turn my words around. Well, we're not we, going to play we've that all, game. We've all been here, I mean, for a right while. Now, is, uh, we're asking you to leave our a, town completely. We? Who's we? You didn't get elected. The village there. board put me in charge of enforcing the ordinance. So okay. the village board tells well, me that they don't want a, people loitering in this town. You got a mayor? They have a village president. Okay, so he's not elected. Yes, he, he is. Then why would you call it? We're not going to debate this, That'd okay? That'd be similar to mayor. If you don't want to ID yourself, just get in your car and let's be gone. We're not here to debate it. You need to leave. You need to leave? You need to leave. You guys, you guys are really crazy. No, we're not. I mean, this is a, this is a regular... You don't, you don't want to ID yourself, so let's get back in your car and take your stuff I'm, and head out of here. I'm willing to exchange information with you. I mean... If you want to exchange information, I mean, I could do that with you. So, what do you, what do you got here? Uh, you only have a name tag, huh? But take your stuff and get your car. Let's go. <laughs> go where? I, Out I, of town. I haven't even, I haven't even marked a place to go. I was, I was gonna be, well, you need to just was, leave town then. I was, I was gonna go back to the library. So, no, that's, you, you, you've overstayed what? your welcome here now in Turtle Lake. I've overstayed my welcome yep. in Turtle Lake. I think you've gone crazy here. You no, know, over, and you're calling this an ordinance? I'm, I'm getting, you're loitering in our town. We have an ordinance for people that loiter here. Yeah, all right. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's hook it up. We've got the internet here. Let's go. Let's yep. get your car. Let's go. We're not going to play your game. How do we find this ordinance? Let's go. 
security than anybody in the MLM country. Travis is getting the car so so we're gonna we're gonna find this ordinance. Travis, we're done. We're gonna find this no, ordinance. We're not gonna stand out in the rain all day just to. Oh, I'm telling yeah. you that we're done. You need to leave. You know, I That's think an order from us. I, if you don't have our order, we can take you to jail. An a lawful order to leave. Yes. And and, and what's what's the limit for parking? You said. Or is there, what, I, You're I mean, loitering here. I mean, you have no business here. It's this is cool. not a place to sleep. This is not a place to camp out. It's, I'm not camping. It's only you're here sleeping. You told me you're here sleeping. Resting. I was resting. What you've been here since eight o'clock this morning. This car's been parked here. So what? Yeah, it's getting a little rainy, huh? Yeah. So let's go head out of town. And find somewhere else to rest. I just got to grab the. Yep. I need the, I mean, I need the plots which way to go. Your main moment. highway's two blocks out that way again, US Highway 863. Yeah. Over US Highway. So. Is that east or something? You can go in any direction you'd like to go. Well, it's maybe Walmart, I guess. Well, the closest Walmart, you gotta go west on Highway 8 to St. Croix Falls. A little bit of a tight turn. All you do is turn your tires to the right and you'll get right out. Officer Gabe instructs Mr. Heinze to leave the town or otherwise. He will be arrested and put in jail. Mr. Heinze later left the area upon this order. However, several days later, due to some publicity of this incident, the governing bodies of Turtle Lake suspended their laws regarding loitering and ordered an investigation of Chief Gabe's actions. The proceedings of this investigation are uncertain. However, Chief Gabe retired from his position in January 2023. It's astonishing to see cops being unlawful and then getting the taste of their own medicine. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.